All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be making it so we can shoot the ball. So uh, let's just dive right in on our events. Let's create a script. Our events folder in server script service, we just created a script and we're going to name this shoot ball. Then we got to make an event called shoot ball. Now let's open up the shoot ball script, get rid of the hello world. And we are also going to need a script and our starter character scripts. So make it make sure you do local script and we'll call this um, shooting handler. All right, uh, so let's see. Let's start with our shooting handler, get rid of the hello world. And so we need a function. Well, hang on, let me think about this. All right, in here we need to get a reference to our input service. So we're gonna say a local input service equals uh, game uh, user input service uh, let's also get our player all right so when input begins uh, for the shoot button and just think about what you want your shoot button to be uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it so you shoot by clicking by left clicking uh, and pressing B if you've got a gamepad okay Xbox controller will be the B button so uh we do that by saying input service dot input began connect function input we're gonna pass through input and game event and we'll say if not game event then and then we'll say if input dot user input type equals enum dot user oops user input type dot mouse button one or input dot key code equals enum dot key code button b then so if it's not a game event and if we if we left clicked or press the b button and then we want to say if player leader stats dot conditionals dot has possession dot value equals true and let's make sure we did that right. Let's go look at our leaders, leader stats script. No, it's just has, well, let's just rename it. Has possession. All right. All right. So if we press that and we have possession, um, then we want to start the shot. So let's make a function up here. Call it start shot. All right. And in our start shot, we will say player.leader stats. Well, no, we're gonna make a, 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 a ugh, we're gonna make an event called start shot. Oh no, we are actually not going to do that. We're going to delete that. We are gonna go to our replicated storage, and we are going to make a folder for remote events, and we are going to make a remote event, and we're gonna call this start shot. And now we're going to get our replicated storage. We're going to get the start shot event equals rs remote events take off event start shot equals remote event start shot so we will say start nope nope not that start shot fire server and when we do that what do we do let's make a folder in our server script service and call it remote events and in here we'll get one for start shot and start shot we're going to say local rs equals game dot replicated storage then we'll say start shot equals rs remote events start shot and then we'll say start shot on server event connect function player and then we'll say player dot leader stats player leader stats dot conditionals dot shooting value equals true and then we want to freeze the player when we're shooting and we could just say player character humanoid walk speed equals zero or whatever uh i wish i had i wish i'd done a little bit different about how i did the freeze player events but uh so we got freeze players event right so now let's just do freeze player and then right here we'll say we got freeze players and freeze player let's open up freeze player then we'll also need to do we got unfreeze players we'll do an unfreeze player change it to unfreeze player 
Okay. So now we can come back to our start shot and we can say, let's also get the server storage. We'll say ss.events.freeze player fire. And we want to pass through the player. So there's our start shot. And let's see what else do we need to do. I think that's a, so that should, I should start the shot, right? So now let's go back to our shooting handler should start the shot now we need to we need to finish the shot so come back down here and we got the input again now we need and now we need the input ended so let's just copy this paste it down here and we'll say input ended game event uh if it's not a game event and if input if it's yeah that's correct and if you have possession it's true so yeah everything's the same if you still have possession, then shoot the ball. Now there is one thing we need to do. Uh, well, hang on. Let's do shoot. Let's say local function shoot ball. Okay. Now we are actually going to wrap this video up. It's, we're actually going to stop right here because it's kind of it's it's going to be a little bit longer to to finish this video. So I think it's better just to break it up into separate parts. So I'll see you guys in the next one.